Hi guys, William Cornell with Martial Arts America. In today's training tip, I'd like to talk about something very simple, but something so fundamental and important to, to your success in your training. And that's just the width of your ready stance. So let me go ahead and then back up so you guys can see just exactly what we're talking about today. Okay, so as you take a look at my feet, here are some common mistakes that people do. And in fact, we have our, our puzzle mats on the floor, and, uh, and they're a great way to go ahead and gauge and take a peek at at what position your feet should be in, okay? So if we look at the lines on the floor, here's some common mistakes that people do. One, they put their feet on the same line and they turn it much like an L. You can see one foot's forward, one foot's to the side. Here's another common mistake. Most people, can, a lot of people point their feet to the side. And this keeps, both of those stances will keep, your, keep you from effectively performing the way that you want to. Take a look at this. This is the proper position. We want to go ahead and put some space between your feet. So we have this line that travels between my legs, and I want to have the width that, that I would normally have when I walk. So check this out. Normally when I walk, there is some space in between. It's not like I'm walking tiptoe onto a line. So that's not how a person walks. Similarly, that's also how we want to uh, avoid, uh, uh, something we want to avoid doing when we do our, our martial arts. So here you can see I've put some space in between my feet. Enough space where I could sneak a bowling ball between my legs without hitting my feet. Okay? So if my feet go more towards the line, again that closes me off and doesn't allow me to effectively move so I can go ahead and generate power on my techniques. Now, here's another very simple tip that I'd like you to, to take that next step. So once you have your foot position correctly, now we need to talk about the order in which we step. So as I move forward, the front foot moves forward. If I move back, the back foot moves back. To the left, well, the left foot goes first. And to the right, the right foot goes first. Now the other thing too that you'll notice is that this doesn't change when I go to the other side. See, my feet are apart. My left to the left, right to the right, front forward, and back forward. And finally, you'll also notice too that when I step, the other foot has to come with me. And if I don't bring it with, well, I'm left in an awkward position. So it's always to return back to that same position that you started in. Okay? And so as you take a peek here, you can see that my feet always return to that, that, that shoulder width apart walking position. Now, one of the things that, that people often say and believe is that, well, I don't have enough space to practice at home. And you can see here that I didn't use a lot of space to go ahead and practice my, my ready stance and my footwork. Footwork is so important to success in not only fundamental martial arts. So again, when you guys take a look at your sparring or your curriculum, uh, uh, these are the, the, the footsteps that, that really will go ahead and enhance the, the awareness and performance that, that you work with. So again, take a peek at it, work with it at home. This is something that you can even do in the, the space in your, your bedroom or in your living room. And again, I'll be back with you with some more training tips.